Hello everyone, welcome to uh, this week's painting exercise. Um, we're going to be using um, masking fluid, a uh, limited palette, just four, maybe five colours, um, a little bit of salt. So I've prepared the um, piece of paper with um, masking fluid, I've just used ordinary and a, a ruling pen. You could use a cocktail stick or a piece of twig, um, a dead biro even that doesn't write anymore uh, and dip it in and put it on. Um, and I've put some finer lines on with a drawing pen. Um, these are by Pebio. Um, great, they're really controllable. So I've put that on, I wait for that to dry and then we'll start painting. Okay. Right, so the um, masking fluid has dried. I'm now I'm going to start to paint. The colours I'm going to use are a um, little bit of French ultramarine, some indigo, um, a little bit of um, cadmium red, which is quite a bright red, it's more orangey, and um, some, a biggish brush here. And I'm just going to go ahead and just wet the whole, oops, remember to wash your brush before you start. Just wet the whole paper. Okay, make sure that it's really nice and wet and covered all over. Just give that a second, make sure it's uh, not got any dry patches anywhere. Okay, so I've given that a couple of minutes and I'm now going to get this, uh, start getting the paint on. So starting off with this lovely rich blue, just feed it in. There we go. And I'm now going to add a bit of the indigo to that. Again, you know, mix it up with a reasonable amount of water. And I'm just going to pop a bit of that in. I'm going to put quite a bit over the top of where these seed heads are. Because when the um, masking fluid comes off, um, be a nice contrast. I'm going to leave a little bit of whitish paper in this area to try to indicate that there's a sort of a, a wind blowing that's blowing these seedlets off the flowers or off the seed heads. Okay, and just pull a few streaks out just to give you that idea of the, the wind. And just do a little bit more there. There we go. And now on to the bottom area, I'm just going to add a bit of water into that light red or, or sienna if you've got the sienna colour and drop some of that in. See how these two colours are gorgeous together. Really nice. And I'm continuing to make that sort of a diagonal pull across the paper so that um, it gives that impression of the wind blowing, catching those seed heads. And now I'm just going to tilt my paper a little bit and let those colours run. But I'm going to again tip it in the direction in which that wind will be blowing. So it gives that really nice and hopefully the, the colours will run a little bit and um, merge together and, and create some interesting shapes. I'm just going to take that little bit out of there because it's the, the colours got caught on the on the stem. So again, I'm just going to put a little bit of that in, give it a bit more life, one or two bits through the through the seed heads. There we go. And where it's mixed with the blue, you get quite a nice um, deeper colour coming through. So you, you 
gives a bit of variety okay while it's still pretty damp I'm now going to take a bit more of the indigo and I'm going to splash a little bit of indigo and just just putting it on my brush and just flick it on again hopefully it'll just give an impression of that you know windy day and things going on okay To add a bit more interest and a bit more texture into the picture, I'm going to put some sea salt onto it. So this is um, just, you know, run of the mill. It's in a, in a grinder, but I'm going to grind it into my hand first so that I can control where it goes. So I'll just do that and then, okay. So I'm just going to put some again into that area where the seed heads are going across the top there and I'm going to leave that now to dry uh, and hopefully that will pull some of the paint um, out of the paper. I'm just going to put some bits and pieces in just to suggest maybe a little bit of grass, a little bit of something going on and put a few more over here and again you know think think a little bit about the that wind blowing so there we go and I think what I'll do is I'll get a little bit more of that colour and again just drop a little bit in on the bottom just flick it in again giving some more interest into that bottom area I think it's quite nice sometimes you if, if you um, the bottom of your picture is um, a little heavier in colour, a little darker in colour. Uh, it, it just somehow seems to ground it better. So there we go. And you can see those, um, because it's pretty wet, those dark brown bits that I've put in are starting to merge and disappear. So as it's drying a little, I'll just put a few more in. And um hopefully they they will stay where they're put they'll go a bit softer obviously but okay i'll give that a minute and then i'll probably finish off with just a few more bits of dark brown at the bottom and what you can do even is add a little bit of the um indigo blue and a little bit of that brown together to give you a really dark uh, f uh, final few strokes onto there that will um, just give it a little bit more punch so I'll just do that so I'm just adding a bit of the blue into the brown this is quite thick now so hopefully it shouldn't run too much I'll just get a few more of these darks in at the bottom Right. I might come back and do a bit more of that in a, in another minute or two. Okay, so I'm just going to leave that to dry a bit. The painting is now dry, so I'm going to um, take off or rub off the um, masking fluid uh, and shake off the salt. You may find that some of the salt will remain, um, but it won't uh, damage the picture in any way. So there we go, we just take all that off. Now if you don't want to use your fingers, if you don't want to get any grease on, you could use, use an eraser to take that off. And there are other tools available if, uh, if you really don't want to get any grease on it. There we go. That's most of the, I think there's one or two little bits of There we are. So that's most of it off. And it's gorgeous. You go go in now and look at what the salt has done. You know, it's um look at that little area there. Fabulous. Okay. 
Okay, so I just need to finish off now. So I'm going to swap to a smaller brush, just a little, I think it's probably a number one. That's oh, number two. Um, this one's by C White, but it's um, quite a nice little, it's got a nice point on it. So all I'm going to do now is going to take a little bit of that um, paint, the um, light red, and I'm just going to go up the side of the stems with just a little bit of paint and I want to kind of merge it a little bit at the bottom so I'll just add a little bit of and here and there if you just then touch the edge you get a more natural finish and if you want to if you just wash your brush out and then just touch the edge of the paint with the damp brush and encourage the paint to creep across the white. There you go. So you get a quite a nice um, finish to that. So we'll do it the same with the others. A little bit of dark. There we go. And again, just disguise the bottoms a little bit so they don't just suddenly finish. And then a little bit of clean water again. Just put it on and let that run across. There we go. I'll just add a little bit more red at the bottom of that one just to disguise the bottom a little. Same with this one. A little bit of dark. And the dark colour is literally just what I've got on the palette. It's a mix of that blue and that red. And then a little bit of clean water down the edge. Just to help it merge in a little. Right, I'm going to take a little bit of remember we had some um, ultramarine blue I'm just going to make sure there's a bit of water on my brush so that it goes quite thin and then I'm just going to add a little bit of that to one side of the, um, the flower heads, the seed heads to suggest a little bit of shadow on there went on a bit dark so all I do is add a little water to that and spread it round a little there we go and the same with this one actually quite like that, uh, that blue I might just add a little more in just let it merge that's quite nice that's not merging so just encourage it there we go um, could just add one or two little bits of detail here and there just a little bit just to add a bit of depth um, swap back to the blue again and just adding a little bit of blue into the center again just to give you that impression of, of um, the shadow part in in the middle of those flowers okay I'm going to swap back to my bigger brush and with the, the uh, ultramarine blue I'm just going to add a little bit more splatter just to add a bit more interest not too much just a little bit there we go and I think finally I'm just going to take again a little bit of the mix of the dark blue and the red it makes quite a dark shade and just add one or two more little bits of um, grasses stems in 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 here just again adding a little more depth and you can see that I'm using a fine brush now so it just adds a little bit of variety to those marks. I'll put 
little couple in the, in the distance. I don't want to overdo this, but just, uh, just a little bit, just to enhance it a little bit. There we go, and I think I'm done with that. So just let it dry, um, and then I'll take it off the board. So there we have the finished painting. I hope you've enjoyed that and um, see you next Tuesday uh, for something different. Enjoy painting this week. Bye.